What's up guys, it's Sebs here, back again with another unboxing video. And this video in particular is very important to me, because the airline that you have right in front of you is, well so happens to be, my home airline. Um, yep, that's right, Copa Airlines, um, the Panamanian airline, like the only, basically the only airline for Panama that does international routes to other countries, um, is Copa. So yeah. Um, this is my main airline that I fly with. I've flown with Copa so many times. And this one is in the special MLB livery. So let's just get right into this. So this is a really good box. It's pretty good. Um, let's just see the back, like the side. I usually like to have my models all, like all my boxes just stacked up like that. And I just put, put them on the side with the art of the plane. So that's really nice. Um, this is also good. The back is really nice. This is a famous bridge here we in Panama. We call it um, Puente de las Americas, which basically means um, Bridge of the Americas. Uh, it looks really good. It reminds me of the bridge in Sydney. I believe this bridge was built in 1962. I think so. I'm pretty sure it was 1962 or 64, but I think it was 62. Um, and yeah, it's a Boeing 737-800. Uh, without the split scimitars, it's just the normal winglets. I think this is the only uh, 737-800 that Gopa have without the split scimitars in their fleet, so that's pretty interesting. I wish, to be honest, I kind of wish Phoenix had put some of the buildings that we have here in Panama in the city. Because Panama has some really, really good architecture, just some amazing buildings. Um... If you ever visit Panama one day, you'll be impressed by the type of architecture we have because we've got some really massive buildings. So, I mean, this is a good box. It's really nice, but I wish they had just added a few buildings or something. But let's just get straight into this. Um, this is my first Phoenix 737-800. I have the 700 from Aeromexico, and that was a really good model. Phoenix have a really good 737 mold. And this looks really good, really, really good. And here we go. Here's the model. Um, at first glance, it looks amazing. Like, Phoenix, one thing that Phoenix excel at all the time is their paint. Phoenix have incredible paint. Um, they usually get all their colors correct, which is really important to get your colors um, just correct and well done. This is not my favorite special livery that Coppa have. That would have to be either the Connect Miles or the Bio Museum. Those two liveries are really good. But this one is still amazing. I'm so glad that companies are now starting to release Goba Airlines because I think the only one that did it was Aero Classics. They've made the Max 9. Gemini Jets made a Max 9. I think it was a few months ago, back last year. And I think it was in 2015 or 16 that Gemini Jets released um, the Copa in the normal livery, 737-800. So, yeah, it's been a long time. And I'm glad that Phoenix finally decided to do this, because I know Copa is a really popular airline. It flies to many destinations in the US, so if you have an airport in Los Angeles, which I do, um, I have to pick this up. Also, San Francisco, basically almost any East, East Coast airport, especially Basically, all of Florida. Tampa gets it, um, Miami gets it, um, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, they all get it. Florida to Panama is a really, really popular route. Um, so yeah, if your airport's in, located anywhere in Florida, definitely pick this up. And also the Gemini Jets one if you can find it, because that's a good mold. Um, but yeah, let's get um, into the review of the cockpit. And here's the cockpit. So as you can see, it says... Aerolínea Oficial de la MLB, which means the official airline of the MLB, which is a cool touch to this um, aircraft. The Copa Airline logo, which actually, to be honest, Copa Airlines' livery reminds me a lot of United's, but I'm actually really glad that United changed their livery and have that new one, because now Copas looks a bit more unique. Um, you can see the Star Alliance logo next to the door, and the cockpits is all really good. The mold on this is superb like i'm really impressed by phoenix's 737 molds um you can see that gold line 
that divides the white color of the fuselage with that kind of grayish beige um, color in the belly of this plane. The landing gear, the landing gear is really, really good. Um, that's something that Phoenix excel at. Um, their landing gear is just amazing. I don't know what they do. I don't know what material they use, but their landing gear always looks just so shiny and new. It's, it's really, really good. Um, all the details on this plane are perfect and accurate because I've seen this, of course, I've seen this plane um, at PTY Airport a lot in the past, and everything here is just like realistic to the real plane, so I'm, I'm glad to see that Phoenix got that right. And so now we're gonna go to the tail section of this aircraft. And here we are, here's the tail section of this plane. Looks really good, again, all the paint and the colors are incredible. Now, I'm not the biggest um, MLB fan. I've never watched a single like match of baseball in my life, so I'm not sure about this, but I think, I believe that all of those, um, all of those, like, circles going down the fuselage above the windows, I'm pretty sure those are the logos of the different teams. I'm not sure, in the comments you guys can correct me about that, but I'm pretty sure that that's the, that's the different logos. Um, as you can see, the tail has the actual logo of the MLB Sport, which is really good. I, I, I love their logo. They have a really, really good logo. And it just, it looks really nice on Cobra's livery. I don't know why, it just, it suits it. Then you can see, um, the Panamanian flag right there. Um, you can see the registration as well. Again, Copa have <laughs> really big registrations. It's, it's crazy to be honest. I don't know why they have so, such long registrations, but yeah, that's, what can you do? But yeah, this, this model, all out, looks really, really good. I'm really impressed by Phoenix. And there we go. That was the in-depth review of this Copper Airlines 737-800 made by Phoenix Models in the special MLB livery. Now, would I recommend this plane? Definitely. If you're an airport in the US or just anywhere in America and you get Copper Airlines as an airline, then definitely go for this because Copper Airlines are so rare to find on eBay, so freaking rare, like legit. If if you want a Copa Airlines, the only one you can find right now is a Max 9, and only two airports, no, three airports in the US ever got that plane when it was flying. Um, the inaugural flight was from PTY to SFO, then we did PTY to Los Angeles, and then I'm pretty sure it went to Tampa once, but... I'm not sure, I do know definitely that it did go to Los Angeles and um, San Francisco. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend the Max 9 at the moment. If you find this, because I bought this on Waffle Collectibles, so I'm pretty sure there's still some of these left in stock, but if you do find this, definitely buy it, because it is a good, 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 good plane. Um, Phoenix knocked it out of the park. The only complaint I would, uh, complaint I would have with this um, would be the wings. They're a bit angled up, but that doesn't bother me too much when it comes to this plane because, to be honest, it, it kind of looks pretty good when it's like in a landing position, which I do plan on doing some photos with this in a landing position just to show the whole plane because it's, it's really nice. But yeah, I would recommend this plane. And yeah, that was my, my unboxing video. Um, this came a lot sooner than I thought it would, which is good because I do want to post more, as I said in the last video. I'm really into this YouTube thing now, so yeah, hopefully some new models arrive and I'll do some unboxing on, the, on those. So yeah, bye guys, um, see you in the next video, remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.